Oh shit. Hello there people. Uh it is me, Matthew, uh making another video. And uh today I just wanna talk to you about like a really dark no I just wanna talk to you about the darker side of YouTube. Um as you know every but every YouTuber has their dark their dark moments, their dark side the, the dark side everybody you every YouTuber knows the dark side. Um and pretty much, this is the case of uh, people taking advantage of others. Whether it be a YouTuber taking advantage of a fan. A fan taking advantage of a YouTuber. And in some cases, either one raping somebody. Uh... I'm not trying to make a joke out of this. Now, I am not joking about this. This is serious shit. Um, pretty much, as you all, have you all known, uh, as you all know, uh, and which is like a the case of things, uh, the more popular on YouTube you get, the more you're going to try and get taken advantage of. Um, as you all know, Toby Turner has been called out for being a like a not uh, like not a, his normal self off camera and normally under the influence of drugs but there was one accusation made against him which stood out from the rest and this was um his uh ex-girlfriend claiming that he sexually assaulted her slash raped her and uh toby has dismissed dismissed that was false but other youtubers have come out like rob dyke people who know him personally have come out to say that he has have had drug addiction uh, uh, drug issues drug addiction suffered drug addiction and all that kind of stuff. But they didn't come out to say that he actually raped her. And that's what scares me, you know? Well, that's what shocks me. How people, mainly ex-girlfriends, ex-boyfriends or whatever, feel the need to take advantage of another YouTuber. Say, no, take advantage of anybody via YouTube. Nobody knows. Drama Alert normally does this kind of stuff. Shout out to you, Team Star. Um, but what happens is... This dark side to YouTube has affected so many people. Especially the people who the accusations claims or whatever are made against it destroys their lives youtube is meant for the better youtube is technically a job now it's something to do with um it's something fun to do with friends with whoever by yourself but you can't but what yeah what people uh don't understand is If you know somebody who is a YouTuber who's got who is quite popular, you don't falsely acclaim uh, falsely claim that they've done stuff to you that they've that they're a that they're a completely different person. I understand that uh, Toby Turner probably had battled drug addiction and drug misuse but that doesn't go to say anybody mainly his ex-girlfriends can just go and because of that claim that they that he raped them or sexually assault or abused them in any way and that goes for anybody that goes for anybody really you do not know you do not make accusations against somebody when you know they are fault. false, false, sorry, false, and you know they aren't true, 
You may hate them, but you can't just go and destroy their life like that. It is not right. No, yet. Yeah. This is the dark side of YouTube. It's a dark side to anybody's life. I've had friends accused of sexual assault and rape. I've been accused of sexual assault. And whatnot. It's just scary thing. Because you never know. They could go to the police. They could go to anybody and say this kind of stuff. And they're going to believe them. Because they, they will genuinely act like it actually happened. When it hasn't fucking happened. This happens to a lot of YouTubers. A lot. Excuse me. This happens to a lot of YouTubers. A lot of YouTubers. But that doesn't go to show that they're necessarily a bad person. If it's true, then I will take ev I will delete this video and I'll take everything back. This goes for everybody who I'm making this out for. I'm not just making this out for Toby Turner. Uh, I'm making this out for anybody who has been falsely acclaimed of rape and sexual or, or sexual abuse in any way. <sighs> to the people who actually claim this stuff, you do not know what it feels like to actually have that happen to you. You do not know the traumatizing effects it can have on your friends, your family, and even yourself. It's scary. But this is the darker side of YouTube. You have people murdering each other, rape, sexual assault, abuse, even suicide. Because of stuff like this. It is a scary thing, but it happens. And none of us can stop it. It just happens. We go our day-to-day -day lives happily as ever. Us YouTubers. We'll go. Live our day-to-day -day lives. But if somebody goes and falsely acclaims that... Cla uh, falsely claims... Anyone, any, uh, any YouTuber of sexual assault, rape or whatever... And knows it isn't true... But goes and shouts it out by YouTube, um, through YouTube or Facebook themselves. It automatically destroys that person's life. They don't know how to react. They get, they'll get death threats or whatever through YouTube itself. And YouTube is not meant to be like that. YouTube is meant to be a place where we can share each other's ideas, views and whatever with each other. And not worry about what anybody else has to say. You do not go and fucking falsely acclaim, um, acclaim, falsely accuse somebody of rape, sexual assault, drug abuse, alcoholism, whatever. Whatever serious matter. If you know they ain't true, those false, no, those, those accusations aren't true, but you can't, uh, and you can't really prove any evidence, no, have any evidence to prove it, and you go around with, and then you get your, fr uh, and then you go and tell your friends, and they'll believe it, and they'll start shouting it out, and it just spreads around until they can't, you know, necessarily deal with the pain anymore. You do not fucking do it. You do not fucking do it. It is not right. So yeah, it's the darker side of YouTube for everybody. But it happens, and we can't stop it. If we could, we would. But we can't stoop it, stop it at all. Shout out goes to every YouTuber who is... Uh, uh, this goes to every YouTuber. And my friend. Uh, and anybody I know, personally, that has been accused of, the, of, of these disgusting acts. I'm part of Vaseline on. I just want to say I apologize for this, but it had to be made.